Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell you um, and show you actually an example of how Braille can be produced on the computer just as a quick um, quick little overview here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to fonts and we're going to select Braille. And now if I type the letters um, ASDF, you can see that we've typed the letters ASDF in Braille. Now, um, you may notice that it's a bit small, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up to... I don't think we can go any higher than 36. So let's try 36. Okay. Now, when it comes to writing Braille, um, you want to take a look at the Braille cell. So, what we have here, I'm sorry, that, that is what I wanted. This is the Braille cell. Now, you may notice there's only one, um, one dot that is bold, and uh, the rest of them are basically regular font. That's because... In this case, the letter A, dot one, is the only one that is, um, that is visible. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to type the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And as you can see, it's produced the Braille font. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, as a training tool. This is an example, again, of how computers can help people learn Braille. If you're a parent who is completely sighted and may not be familiar with Braille, what you can do is you can go online and download a font for your computer that is, um, again, it's just regular Braille. We just go up here. Select Braille, and the best part is you don't need to know the Braille keyboard at all. You may have noticed back in the writing section we talked about the Braille keyboard. You don't need to know it in order to compose Braille on your computer. So we can just type in something like, hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So, and for those of you who are familiar with Braille, I should note that this is primarily typing in ASCII Braille, and for those of you who are not familiar with it, it's basically computer Braille code, so um, you need not concern yourself with that, but for those of you who are familiar with the Braille code, I thought I'd better explain in case you were wondering if you yourself are a, are a teacher or a trainer. But, if you are not familiar with the Braille code, you can download this and it'll work um, with anything. For instance, if I go to, if I launch text edit here, oops, and we see the Braille font here as well. So we can just Type, Let's go up to 30, we'll go 48 for this one. So again, um, same deal. Now, obviously, what, I, what I'm what i using here is a program called Write. For those of you who are available, for those of you who have a Macintosh, it's available in the App Store. But no, this is an example of how you can use Braille, um, how Braille can be used with the computer to make um, the lives of somebody who is not familiar with Braille, if you have a student who is blind, if you have a child who is blind, you don't need to know necessarily how to write Braille. If you're familiar with the Qu QWERTY keyboard, you can actually, once you get the letters down, you can just download the Braille font and actually type stuff in Braille to get used to being able to read it um, at a glance. I myself am able to 
read both with my fingers and my eyes. I just recognize it immediately. And um, this would prevent the need for translation of a child's homework if you wanted to look for spelling errors. This would prevent the, um, the uh, need to translate in order to proofread a thesis. For example, if you take the time to actually compose some stuff in Braille using the QWERTY keyboard, And I didn't need to know the six dot code at all. I mean, the six dot writing uh, formation at all. If this is anybody can anybody can download it, anybody can use it. It's just that simple. Um, you can take a look at the website for more information on how we're going to get into Braille and computers. And um, and I will uh, talk to you later.